The MagView S1 will come packaged with one phone plate, an Allen wrench, three eye relief spacers, and four sizing rings. Each eye relief spacer and sizing ring has a number printed on it to indicate their thickness. First, loosen the Allen screw on the outside of the S1. Next, select your eye relief. We recommend most users start with the spacer labeled 70, which is the middle size. If you use a thick phone case or have a spotter with a closer eye relief, you may need to adjust by using one of the other rings. After selecting the eye relief, place it into the S1 adapter with the number facing upwards. Align the gap in the spacer with the ridge inside the S1 to keep the spacer from spinning. Next, select your sizing ring. The best way to do this is to dry fit each ring onto your spotter's eyepiece on its own. The goal is to find the spacer that slides onto your eyepiece fairly snug. Not too tight, not too loose. After selecting the sizing ring, place it into the S1 in the same manner as your eye relief, ensuring the numbers can be read and are not upside down. Align the gap with the ridge inside the S1 to keep the ring from spinning. If you need to change your eye relief or sizing ring, loosen the Allen screw and use a small pry tool to pop them out and replace with a different size. Next, tighten down the eye relief on your spotter all the way in. Press the S1 onto your eyepiece, ensuring the cover is angled slightly below horizontal. If your phone's cameras are centered on the back of the phone, then install the eyepiece completely horizontal. This helps ensure the magnets are centered on the phone while allowing the camera to be centered on the optic while the phone remains level. Tighten down the Allen screw until the S1 is solid and snug. Do not over tighten. Your MagView S1 is now ready to use alongside the supplied phone plate to capture crisp photo and video in the field.